before I get going on the injury stuff, I kind of want to address, you know, our team at this point um, and talk a little bit about the game. Uh, you know, we're 0-2 with, with 14 games left in the regular season. And uh, the last thing that, that I want this team to uh, focus on is, is the negative. Um, you know, football, there's a, especially in the NFL, can have a lot of factors that play into it that can affect – uh, you know, your, your mental, emotional and, and physical play. And I think, you know, we're, we're, we've lost two games, not because we're a bad team. And I think that's, that's something that can get corrected injury or not with me. Um, I think this team has a lot of fight. I think our team has a lot of resiliency and we have the right guys to, to pick it up from here. And I'm excited about that. And I want to address that first because there's a lot of talk with, uh, you know, how we're going to be as a team. Well, we have the right culture and it's still early and there, there is still hope. And, and so I want to make sure I address that because once again, there's a lot of noise that can be uh, heard from the outside. And, um, you know, I, I, I think it's crucial not to listen to that stuff and to continue to focus on the football and correct the mistakes. Don't beat ourselves. You know, I say it every week, don't beat ourselves. That's the, that's the key in this, in this game. That's going to be the key with our team. And so, um, you know, I kind of just want to open with that and talking about the game and talking about our team. Thanks, Christian. And um, could you kind of go over two things, the play where it happened, how it happened, and uh, and then whether you've ever had a high ankle sprain you've dealt with before. Yeah, uh, it happened, uh, I think, four or five plays before the touchdown. I'm not 100% sure how it happened. You know, I had a lot of adrenaline during the game, and uh, I think I got, uh, you know, a couple carries uh, after that. And then, uh, you know, as soon as the third quarter ended, I went and got taped, tried to play it off played a, you know, a couple plays and just realized that I wasn't a hundred percent. And you know, I went over to the sideline and it started getting worse and worse. And I realized that it would be inefficient if I continued to play uh, due to the level that I was at. And um, so I, you know, I told them that, to, you know, they, they kind of addressed it and told me to, to sit out and that I'd be out for the game. And then um, I had a ankle sprain in high school, but other than that, no. Alina, you can go ahead. Okay. Um, Christian, like you, you know, how have you, how, what did you feel when you realized you were going to be out for the game and just when they told you it was a high ankle sprain, you're going to have to miss a few weeks? You know, how are you feeling? Where are you going through with, you know, this being your first injury in the NFL? Yeah, it sucks. You know, I mean, to be 100% transparent, anytime you get injured, it's, it's a horrible thing. You know, you play football to play, not to sit out. And uh, this is part of the game and it happens, but. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't believe in coincidences. I think everything happens for a reason. And uh, I think everything is perspective and attitude. And when you look at it, you know, uh, you can, you can win or you learn. And right now is a learning experience for me. You know, I've, I've prided myself on being on the field and, and freak accidents happen a lot. And this is one of them. And if you look around the league, you know, there's a lot of guys who are, who are down right now, but um, I think the biggest thing you can do right now is stay strong and and fight through it you know they say four to six weeks well that's a challenge to me and uh you know hopefully i can get back a lot earlier than that but i'm going to attack this uh just like i attack anything else and you know go from there all right we'll go to david newton and then jonathan alexander christian wanted to ask you i think you said uh sometime last year how you need not to take life so seriously sometimes and I think you said that again recently on a uh, social media post how does that and what you've learned about that help you through these times uh as a competitor and you know it doesn't help uh I think it you know you you just have to continue to push you know I mean I can sit here and feel sorry about my feel sorry for myself and that does me no good you know I think it happened and the only thing you can do now is can control what you can control and that's getting this ankle back 100% as soon as possible. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And it's really not more complicated than that. Uh, that's the only thing to do and stay positive, help my teammates out as much as I can and, and rehab this thing and attack it, you know, at 100% so that I can get back and, and try to help this team win games. So that's it. 
Hey, Christian, um, Jonathan Alexander, Shot Observer. Normally I say, hope you're doing well, but uh, instead I'll say, I'm sorry that that happened to you. Um, you know, Mike Davis will likely fill in for you. Um, what about what you've seen from him gives you confidence um, that he can do well for the Panthers? Yeah, I mean, he's going to do great. I already know it. Um, you know, he, he can do everything. He can run, can catch, can block. Uh, he can run through people. He can make people miss. You know, he's a guy who, who has had success, you know, not just with our team, but in the past with, with his other teams too. So he's been there and, and he's been there before and he's been a successful player in the NFL and I don't think anything's going to change. And, and to me, it's exciting to see because, you know, I look at, you know, practicing with him last year and practicing with him this year and he's only gotten a lot better. So I'm excited for him. All right, Miles, we'll go to you for the next question and then Josh Klein afterwards. Thanks, Preston. Uh, Christian, just, I mean, how frustrating is this just considering how well, you know, you take care of your body so that you can continue to play at a high level? Yeah, you know, it's, it's really frustrating. You know, it, it is the, it's the nature of the beast though. And, you know, once again, uh, it happened, you know, it's it, the only thing you can do now is try to fix it and, and go from there. You know, I think it's obviously frustrating at first, but the more and more you keep telling yourself, oh, this sucks or this is frustrating, uh, you know, the less time you're spending focusing on on taking care of it. And, you know, that's one thing for me. Obviously, it's very disappointing at first. And, you know, I wish I could be out there. Um, but, you know, at the same time, you know, it's up to me to, to stay positive and to approach it in a way that, you know, I'm going to get better. Like I said, I, I don't believe in coincidences. You know, this happens for a reason. Uh, it's not my plan. It's God's plan. And, uh, you know, his plan is much greater than mine. And, I think in times of adversity is when you got to show the strongest faith. And and I think that's uh, a challenge for me right now is to continue to keep the faith and, and you know, once again, just attack the, the injury with, with a full head of steam so I can get back as soon as possible. Christian, um, what, when you took the time before we started talking about the injury to to make it clear that, you know, that you wanted to come back as fast as possible and to ignore all that noise from the outside, um, did you did you do that, you know, because this is a young team and obviously you're one of the leaders. And if you're going to be away, there can be a tendency for the team to kind of maybe I don't want to say not work as hard, but but have different goals rather than trying to win every Sunday. No, I just think it's important for everyone to hear that from me. Um, you know, I think if you were to talk to Teddy, if you were to talk to Coach Rule and the other leaders on this team, they would say the same thing. And Yeah, we have a young team. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I've seen. It's funny because, you know, when, it, you, when you read the news now, it's so negative. If one thing happens, it's so negative. And it's such a sad thing to see because, um, you know, it's, it's the outside world expects perfection a lot of times when, when you're in the NFL. And uh, football is not a perfect sport and football is not an individual sport. It's the, it's the biggest team sport in the world. And uh, you need all hands on deck in order to win. And so, um, you know, when you're 0-2 – it's not, it's not over. And, and that's, that's very important to understand. You know, I've seen, I think it was the Chargers last year lost their first six games and then get week 17, they're fighting for a playoff spot. Uh, you know, there's teams who have gone seven and nine and made the playoffs. There's teams who have gone zero and two and then they win 14, you know, 13 straight. And, and I think you can focus on that and you can, or you can focus on the fact that we're zero and two, but at the end of the day, it's about the football and it's about one day at a time, one week at a time, uh, one meeting at a time, one practice at a time, that's all you can control. Uh, but when you start hearing the noise, good or bad, it starts to take you off the path. And I think that's it's very important to, to stay true to, uh, you know, what you know in times of adversity. Because once again, I think in, in, a, in the social media era uh, of the world, you know, if you start to read into what people are saying about you, whether it's good or bad, you're, you're going you're gonna to fall down a, a, a pretty tough path. So, um, you know, that's kind of why I address that. All right, JB, we'll go to you and then Brett after him. Hey, Christian, JB from uh, Spectrum News One. Thanks so much for taking out the time. Um, you mentioned that you haven't had an ankle sprain since high school, so you really haven't had to miss this amount of time um, in your career before, and you're obviously the, the leader of this team. How are you going to attack you know, your leadership from the sidelines and from the background or whatever, while you help guide your team 
you know, through these next few weeks? Yeah, it's a good question. I think the, the, the biggest thing you can do is, is to not change. You know, I mean, I'm not going to do anything differently. The only thing different is, you know, I won't be on the field, but I'll still approach the game the same way. I'll still be there for my teammates. And, you know, I'll focus my, my in-game or in-practice energy to the rehab. And uh, that's kind of how I'll go about it. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be the same guy. I'm not going to make a drastic change. I'm going to do everything I can to get this ankle better so I can come back and, and start playing again. Christian, uh, real quick, just to, uh, I guess, double check. So you actually hurt your ankle towards the end of the third quarter. Is that correct? Before the fourth quarter? Yeah, I think it was a couple plays before the third quarter. And then to that end, um, you know, last year, Cam Newton obviously was hurt and he admitted that he lied to the doctors and wasn't forthcoming with them. And it kind of hurt him, obviously, it, uh, by doing so. Are you going to make sure that like you're going to be completely honest and not rush to get things back? Or are you going to do everything to rush to get back? Uh, I'm going to do everything I can to rush to get back, honestly, if that's if that makes sense. But, you know, I, I think we have such a good training staff that uh you know they're transparent with me i'm transparent with them I, you know i'd never do anything to jeopardize my team so i'll make sure that i'm 100 percent healthy and we're going to try to rush back as fast as i can as long as you know once again i'm 100 percent healthy all right guys we have two more questions skyler you can ask yours and then jason you can finish it up yeah christian uh coach coach rule talked about the the toughness of this team really since the onset of training camp and we've kind of seen that the last two weeks uh, with you guys battling back in the second half. Uh, just kind of speak on that. And then Dante Jackson also told us uh, after the game on Sunday that this isn't a rebuilding year and that you guys want to take this deep into February. Do you kind of echo the same sentiment? Absolutely. You know, absolutely. I mean, we, we have the guys to win, and, and we've put ourselves in position to win two weeks in a row. Uh, we've shown that we can win. We just have to do it. Uh, you know, you can't, uh, you can't beat yourselves. You know, you got to – play good team football and, and we've shown that we can do it so there's no need to be a, a rebuilding year when, when we know we can win uh it's okay to win and I think uh you know with with some some kinks here and there that we have to iron out I think it's about time to to get those going and and to start playing winning football winning team football we know we can like I said so now it's just time to go out there and do it Hey Christian, uh, Jason Huber with WFNZ. Kind of, kind of. I mean, same thing, but a little bit of a two-part question. But with all the injuries happening yesterday in the NFL, I'm sure you saw, you know, a lot happening. Is there anything that you know you, you can? Th I know you don't want to make excuses, but anything with the lack of training camp offseason that you think could have factored in around the league? And also, have you reached out to any of those guys like you know Saquon and Raheem Moser, you know, at your position and spoken with them at all yet, or do you plan to? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it was it was a really tough. Uh tough day yesterday and, and my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone that that got hurt you know it's it's uh once again it's the nature of the beast this league can be very challenging sometimes and and with injuries especially you know guys play through a lot of stuff but you know when you have season ending injuries or you miss a few weeks it's it's it can be very tough uh you know and I don't think a lot of people understand necessarily uh what goes into that and what goes into the mindset of when that does happen so right? there's, I mean, there's a lot of pressure that guys put on themselves to be great and when you can't be on the field it's it's very tough but uh so my prayers go out to them and my prayers go out to, to James White especially you know somebody who is one of the most respected players in the league and uh for me I've seen so much uh so much tape of him and uh always respected his game and and heard nothing but great things about him and so you know to go through a tragedy like that is is very sad you know it's definitely uh trying times right now so uh, my prayers go up to him as well and, uh, you know, him and, and, and his family and all of his loved ones. Um, so, you know, you just got to be there for, for, for people in situations like that. You know, I mean, you look at a guy like that who's done everything right and bad stuff happens to good people sometimes. And uh, once again, you just uh, I think it's important to put that into perspective that uh, it's bigger than football sometimes. And, uh, you know, when tragedies happen, uh, you got to look at it as, as a learning experience and, and go from there. But just be there for your brothers and uh, – and for your colleagues. All right, Joe, did you have one more before we go? Yeah, thank you. I got that. No, I got no. Yeah, you're good. We can finish up with this last one. All right. Hey, Christian, you said things happen for a reason in your mind. And this may be hard for you to look at kind of in the moment, but I remember Thomas Davis often talking about how a couple of his injury seasons sort of allowed him to play longer and, and took off some of that wear and tear on his body. 
do you think, you know, it's kind of looking for a silver lining, you know, could that be the case here uh, with you for the next month or so? Well, you know, I mean, when you look at guys like TD, I mean, they've gone through so much and still been able to be resilient and, and approach rehab. And, you know, I don't know what year he's in now, but but playing as long as, as he has, um, you could say that. I mean, you know, I never want to miss games. I never want to be hurt. But uh, you do have to look at a bright side for it. And now it's, you know, I get, you know, four more weeks to – or hopefully it's a lot shorter than four weeks. You know, they say four weeks. But once again, I mean, you never know. I could come back, you know, as early as, as whenever I get healthy. But um, I think it's it's just one of those things where uh, what you do in this time off is, is extremely important. You know, it's not, it's not time off necessarily. It's actually – uh, going to be a, a harder little stretch than if I were healthy because, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be here pretty much all day, every day. Um, but but that's the beauty of it. You know, once again, I look at it as a challenge. How quick can I get back to 100 percent? And that's that's all I'm focused on right now.